Alright, hey you guys, Ms. Ruga here. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be a texturizer update number four. So I have texturized my hair about three weeks ago. It went okay. I wouldn't say it went well. And the main reason why I want to say it didn't go well is because I wore a protective style in my hair. Which I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have took my hair out of the protective style detangled my hair for for about a week or whatever with my fingers and then texturized my hair but what i did was i took my protective style out and then finger detangled as much as i could that day and then texturized my hair and i had so much shedded hair and tangles it was just annoying yeah really really annoying but i felt like i lost a lot of hair but really i know that it just has to do with the fact that i wore a protective style right before I texturize my hair so next time I do that I will put a week in between my protective style and that so I can get all the shedded hair out and then texturize my hair um, the texturizer that I use this time is the just for me texture softening system um, I have a video up of how I actually texturize my hair how I relax my hair and um you can check that in the description box below or you can go to my videos and you can see it there so when i said i felt like i lost a lot of hair i don't actually have a lot of hair my hair is medium density to thin density so um it it's it's not really that thick um and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not having really thick hair because not everybody has really thick hair. It's not natural for everybody to have incredibly thick hair. But um, I'm working with what nature has given me and I am trying to grow all of my hair out. So it's one length. If you can see here, this is my hair in the middle of my head. Um, it has It is grown. It's not as long as the hair down here but it has grown a little i did get a few like strands right in here um where the hair broke and i believe that was from when i took out my protective style i just wasn't careful enough in this section of my hair which is tends to be the issue is i'm never just gentle enough on my hair for my hair to um grow properly because I'm just literally breaking the ends off. But I've been working hard. I've been doing a lot better. And this section has been growing. And so has my hair. Um, my hair has been growing quite a bit. Um, the hair in the back is grown um, past my waist now. And I will show you what it looks like in the back so my my waist is right here and my hair reaches down here now and so I'm pretty happy about that my hair grows in a V because I cut it in a V so that's why that piece of hair is the longest section of hair on my head is because I literally cut it that way and I actually like it that way. Um, I don't know what I'll do with the hair right here that's really short. Because I haven't really trimmed it that much. Even though I've been getting a lot of growth there. And I'm surprised I've gotten as much growth as I have been getting. Because I have not really been trimming in that section. Um, but I probably will trim it in December. It just really depends on how my hair is growing. So the hair in the front reaches below my boob now, which is really good because this hair in the front like grows so slow. I feel like it just, I don't know, it just grows so slow. And then I have my bang area and my bangs, um reach like right in the middle of my boob area right there 
and on this side I cut this section of hair because it was like really the ends were like literally one or two strands and I was like uh, -uh I can't do this so I just cut this section here off so this one only reaches uh, um, it barely reaches uh, my nipple area right here but on this side um, it's the same thing it reaches under my boob and my bangs here reach just there so my hair is growing but it's growing really slowly in the front the main length is coming from the back of my hair and my hair in the back always grows super long for some reason I don't know why I guess that's just genetics and how my hair likes to grow um, but um, I'm still gonna be working on the main issue of my hair which is the middle of my head which is much shorter than the rest of my hair so that's my my main main issue is getting that longer once I get that longer then my hair will look fuller I really think it'll look fuller and thicker so yeah now I have changed uh, something in my routine and one of the main things that I changed is I've put more protein in my hair a lot more so I use Alpha G's green tea um, reconstructurizer if my hair feels like really really dry and um, if I don't use that then I use the perfective mega growth leave-in um, leave-in conditioner this has protein in it and it works amazing for preventing breakage I also use the deep conditioner with that I will mix the deep conditioner of this brand with Alpha G the two-minute reconstructurizer and um, put that in my hair for an hour and it comes out like super super strong and I can tell you all I'm noticing now is shedded hair I get like maybe I'll see six or ten bre breakage of hair that's like this long or this long but the majority of the hair that comes out is shedded hair which is uh, great now I feel like I can um, manipulate my hair a little bit more I'm not saying that that's what I'm doing but I just feel like I can now without having so much hair breaking off and I should have known that that was what I needed to do with my hair um, because now I'm texturized and so of course my hair is going to need the extra protein I am just going to continue to wear protective styles um, long-term protective styles twists stuff like that um, if I'm not doing that then I'm going to be wearing my hair in a bun um, if I want to have fun with my hair I will probably do like a curly braid a curl braid where you braid your hair and curl it and I will put a video up of exactly what I do to my hair with the curly braid all right so I will see you beautiful people later peace and love